Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Let's Play with Wang. I am your host, Slick Wang. And we are looking awesome. A little, little upgrade to our um, goggles of revealing. We now have a helmet of revealing with some cool enchantments on it. Yes, we are boss. We are boss. And we look pretty cool too. Um, we doing some magic today. Magic today. Ooh, how pretty. How pretty. Still a real work in process. All this cobblestone will be gone. That's just there so I have the shape and all of that so I can see what's going on. Um, but eventually it will all be replaced by something else. And I haven't decided what yet. I do really like these marble pillars. I did some holy stone micro blocking here. So we can carry, I'll probably carry the pillars on up that way, um, I think. So yeah, it's, it's coming along, it's coming along. Um, so check out my plans for this. Okay, so we've got this, you know, cool little thing. And I'm actually thinking maybe I just put an elevator, I just go shoo, so that way I can just pop right down, I think. I think that this sounds a little better than wrapping stairs in this, you know what I mean? You know what I mean, Jellybean? Maybe pop him out one more, maybe a half, maybe a half one, something. I don't know. Micro block that thing up and then elevator straight down. Do we have elevators? Yeah, I was going through chisel there to to see all the different things I could chisel. Okay, we do have elevators. Beautiful. So yeah, we could elevator and just pop right down. Okay, I like that. Um, so yeah, big open space here in the middle, um, and then you might notice these little thingies here. These are pretty cool, so you can just like walk up on here. Um, the reason for those is we are going to have golems, and the way golems work is if you tell them take something from here and put it in here, they will go okay, boom, and if you have a line like this they will then see the entire line. Otherwise, they only have a sight line of about eight blocks, I think it is. Um, so yeah, you, you kind of want to make some lines like that, so that way they go, okay, I'll find something somewhere in this line of, of warded jars. Well, what are warded jars, you might be asking, Mr. Wang? Um, warded jars, what we're, what we're going to do, what we're going to do here today, I hope, I hope I have time. Um, is it in here? No. Is it in here? I don't think so. Here we go. Infusion. On the arcane workbench, we are making all kinds of neato, neato stuff. Arcane pedestals, blah, blah, blah. I will summarize this whole thing for you. It makes that really cool thing. If you recall in a previous episode where we had, uh, Terra made us this awesome pickaxe, that is what we are doing. And the way that it works, you put your, your stuff on here and you start this ritual going. And it will pull the essentia that it needs from warded jars, which for us will be stacked up here and stacked up here. Because I think we mapped it out and there was something like 60, 62 different essentias. So we'll put, we'll put the big important ones right here. Um, and then probably, I'm guessing, this one will be where we have our Essentia distillation. Um, we'll probably put our jars there. Um, if you are brand new to this series, I, I really recommend taking a browse, you know, maybe hopping and skipping through some of my previous videos because some of this is going to sound Greek to you. Um, so yeah, we're going to hopefully make the Infusion Altar. I hope I have time for that today. Um, another late start, man, I tell you. Alarm went off, 4.15, and, uh, yeah, okay, I'll turn that off, let me get in my mode, <gasps> it's 5.30, um, and then I ran around forever trying to get some resources together, so, Essentia Distillation, we are going to skip that whole mess with the crucible, um, and throwing stuff in, it's basically low tech, take your crucible, put it out there. Crucible is made, um, you get the cauldron and you whack it with your magic wand and it turns into a crucible. 
put the crucible over fire, you throw stuff in it, you basically dissolve the item into its essentia. Problem with that is, this, you tend to have a lot of waste, and we want a grand total of zero taint, because it's going to go nowhere. We do not want to taint our house um, at all. Okay, um, So the way we're going to do it, when we do this alchemical furnace, you also stack, um, we're going to need to make a couple of V filters, you also stack these arcane alembics on top of it. Okay, And what these do is they catch all the essentia that is given off by that furnace. So we're going to have, we're probably going to have three. I believe you can stack up to five, I think it said. Yeah, you can put up to five. Most things only going to have three. Um, so that's what we're going to do. Um, probably not going to have time to make that thing. Um, so let's go get cracking. Let's get our, our alchemical furnace going. Um, we're going to need one, two, three for this. Uh, do we need it for something else? Why do I feel like I needed it for something else? I will need it for you, but we're not making you yet. Okay, so we just need three. All right, let's get popping. Oh my God, are you guys excited? I'm excited. This is going to be great. Boom, three of them. Yes. All right, let's go do this. I'm so excited. So excited. So excited. Um, which side? Which side? Decisions, decisions. I probably should have done this backwards. I probably should have done it right here and then had my jars on the sides here. That's probably how I should have done it. Um, well, if I can't live with it, I'll change it later. But in the meantime, let's put you boop, right there. Oh, look how pretty. Bonk. OK. Um, let's get some stuff to stand on. I think it'll work. And bonk. And what if I go like bonk? Yeah, depending on which way you do it, this little, that's the V filter that we made with the gold and the silver wood. You can kind of change the way it's orientated. Oriented. I don't know. I don't really like saying oriented. That just sounds racist. Boom. Let's change you. There we go. Now it's in per day. Okay, next step is we get some fuel. And I'm not going to distill anything just yet because we need to make golems. I probably don't have... Eh, let's throw the coal. Let's put coal in it. That way it's ready to go for us later on when we're ready. Uh, I believe fuel goes there. Yes, okay. Wonderful, wonderful. Let's get rid of this little guy. Um, where is our center? Center? That way? Hey, how about that? Okay. That's just a placeholder. Okay. Um, let's see. Runic Matrix. Oh, maybe that's why I haven't made it yet. I need an Ender Pearl. Do I have an Ender Pearl? I have. Yes, I have a couple. Beautiful. Okay, and two. It said you can mix and match. No more shards in that one. Oh, I have lots of fire shards. Let's just take them all. I'm sure I'm going to need several for this project. All right. Um, now, it was stones in the corner, ender pearl in the center. One, two, three, four. Do I have enough magic? I don't. Shoot. Um, let's change this to nodes. Oh, we go to that one. What I've been doing on my map, this is very, very handy. Um, on my map, when I find a node, I mark it on the map, and I typically try to write down what type it is. So that way when I'm like, oh man, I need this, I can just look at the map and go pop on over. 
And that's the way I'm doing it until I can actually start moving these things. That will be an exciting day when I can move them. So, all right, let me get loaded up. I'll see you guys back at the house. Okay, welcome back. Let's see, do we have enough now? Yes, we do. Runic Matrix. Awesome. Blossom. Let's see, do I have any... I have a little bit of stone. Do I have any more hidden? Any more stone bricks? Um... Hmm. Nope. I just want to make a couple more of the um, of the arcane bricks, just because I have a feeling I'm going to end up needing more. Just my guess. Just my guess. Technically, right now, I I think I have enough. Uh, to just do exactly what we need to do. What do you have? You still have some air in you, and I think that's what they take. So let's put let's put some fire shards because we got oodles, oodles and oodles and poodles. Okay, are you done? Jeez, so slow. Let's make you go faster. Oh, I don't even need you. Be gone from my sight. Okay, let's just do... Alright, a little bit more of that. Okay. I think we're ready. Um, okay, so pedestal goes in the middle. Okay, pedestal, and then we need bricks. Okay, bricks. Brick. 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 Get out of there. Lamp. I hope you guys are able to see. Um, let's put the lamp here. Okay, stone. Boom, 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 boom. And what I hope is the very last piece. Oops, no. Shift? Maybe? No? Hmm. How do I get you? Maybe... Maybe you have to be here. And then I need to break this. And then... Hmm. We're missing something here, guys. We're missing something. Let's see. Okay, we have the pedestals. Uh -huh. Oh, you know what? I bet I don't have enough juice. Okay. Moment of truth, guys. <gasps> oh my god, it's so pretty. It's so pretty. Oh, man. Whew. So pretty. Um. Very excited. Very excited. Um, let's go ahead and put pedestals around just because we're here and we have the stiff okay and put one there okay let's go make do I still have that crafting table I do wunderbar can I make you nope sure can't probably end up bringing that arcane workbench down here too um, in fact let's just do that Just because this is pretty much where we're going to be doing our magical stuff. Um, question is, where should we put it? Um, all right. Well, we're going to be doing some tweaking in this later, so maybe we'll. Um, you know what? You know what would be cool is another another platform like this over here, and then I could have like my my research table and arcane workbench in there. Ah, yes, that would be sweet. Okay. I'm very excited, guys, if you couldn't tell. This is very excited Wang. Um, and there. I want one more. But I can only make two, so I don't really know 
what to do with the other one. Ta-da! Look at that! And we are like two seconds away from being able to make some very cool stuff. Um, very excited. Okay, I do need to figure out how how to start enchanting and fusing now. Um, but we made it. We made it. Okay. Can we... Not without risk. Process force. Advanced energy. Single object. What do we want to make first? Um, I kind of think I want to make golems first. Dang it. I was really... Whoops. I was really excited about that. I was really hoping I could just bypass the crucible and be like, psh, suckers, screw your progression. But, eh, it is what it is. You can't have it all. But I do have to place this block. And I don't know how to use my jetpack very well. There we go. Um... Dang. Okay, well, I guess I'm going to have to make a crucible and do that stuff, so... Shoot. Alright, well, it is what it is. We'll do it. I'll see you guys out there. Okay, welcome back. I think we're ready. We have the stuff that we need, I think. Um, I've made the bricks. We have stuff that gives us Humanus. We have stuff that gives us Motus. We have stuff that gives us Spiritus. Um, looking at these, I'm probably going to have some leftover. And I'm thinking I may create some taint. Um, so part of why I'm doing this over here, Terra, is, this is his thing. He's, he's doing like this freaking awesome uh, castle deal. It's going to be great. Um, he's shown me a couple things. It's pretty badass. Um, but he is an expert at all things Thomcraft. So if we create some taint, he can probably help us fix it, I think. Um, and you know what? I almost hope that we do create some taint. Just that way we are forced to learn how to use, how to, how to fix taint. Um, and then like, if we get good, we can like create, you know, Wang's taint cleaning service. Wait. Anyway. Um, okay. I think what we need to do is take this little bucket and let's get ourselves some water because we got to put water okay Whew. okay uh oh evidently you don't put all that water <sighs> okay oh lost the torch there you go okay ow ooh okay it's bubbling all right so let's put all of that okay and that okay so zombie head hey what the jeez okay zombie head all of that okay and then a brick <gasps> did we did we get anything? We did! Okay, let's do more. Uh, okay. Okay. And... Oh, we have two clay golems. And... Maybe... Can I... No? Oh, that didn't work. Um, let's empty our bucket. What if I do that? No. Uh, that? No. Shift right click? No. Okay, well, I don't know how to get those back now. How do I put them in? Crap. Terra's going to kill me. Shift right click? Left click. Uh, left click? No. Um, yeah, I think that's going to make a lot of taint. Because that's a lot of stuff left in there. So much stuff like even the thing is getting in the way. 
Look at all that. Oh, man. Um, shoot. Okay, maybe... I know we have to act quickly, because if it boils away, we're screwed. Okay. Leftover sentia remains in the crucible for the use, but it's not a good idea to leave it too long. Crafting also uses some water. Constantly degrading compound sentia degrades it. Waste of resources, evaporating strange side effects. Empty a crucible by right clicking on it with a wand. All essentia is dumped into the atmosphere. It's not something you would want to do too often. Well, I did that. Empty. 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 Shift right click. <gasps> Sorry, Terra. I can't do anything to it. Um. Oh, man. Oh, we got it. Good. I wonder where you go. You just keep on going, don't you? Hmm. Okay, well, uh, nothing to see here. Oh, you know what? I just remembered something. If we put a golem down, he doesn't do anything. We have to make... Hey, we have to make stuff. Um... Okay, good. That's all done. Nope. It's not. Okay, so we got bricks, niter. Oh, we got we got much work to do. Okay. We're back. We've got our arcane workbench down. Okay. Now let's read real quick. So, first things first, we need to make the golem animation core, but to do that, we need to make niter. So, Three Ignis per. We're going to do two of these, so we need six. Six Lux, six Potentia, and we're going to need two Gold Glowstone Dust, okay? Okay, put that in there. Hey, why do you do that? Oh. I now have two buckets. Interesting. We'll fix that later. Um, Alright. So torches each give one Lux. Beautiful. These give two Potentia and two... Ignis, so this should actually be perfect. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three. Okay, and then we need two glowstone, one, two, and we have two niter. Awesome. Okay, now the next thing we do, we come over here and we make our core. Okay. Boom. Voila. We have cores. Okay, so then the next step, because I, I really hope we're doing core of the gather. I really hope that's what we have to do, because um, I think that's what we want in order for us to let him um, gather the essentia at our base. Okay, so boom, 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 boom. Okay, Lucrum and Terra. This one's going to be messy. Terra, that's easy enough. Okay, so five of those, because if we look, uh, it takes five per, and each Earth gives us two. We're doing two of these, so that'll be ten. That's beautiful. Awesome. The catch is the gold. We have a lot of metallum left over. So, yeah. But it is what it is. Boom, 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 boom. We did it. We did it, guys. Awesome. Now... Uh-oh. Uh Uh-oh. Uh... Terra? Um... Uh-oh. What happens if I do that? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Give me this. Um... Um, shoot. Okay. I did say I hoped that we would have to learn how to do taint, but I, I didn't mean, like, right now. Okay. Go away. Huh. 
It's like it was never here. <laughs> At least I hope it's like it was never here. <laughs> uh, if not, Terra's gonna kill me. Alright, guys. We're back. Now, let's go ahead and let's just set up a few of these. I did not mean to pop up there just yet, but that's okay. Because here's the idea here. Just show you guys real quick. Okay, because my understanding, a golem can see eight blocks. So if I put him here, he's going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we should be okay, and he should actually come up here to fill these, because he can only reach two blocks. He's, he's a little short guy. Okay, here we go. I put you there. Okay, awesome. Now, do I just right-click you? Yes, I do. Okay, Mr. Guy, you're connected there. All right, awesome. Now, you should be connected there, and there, and there, and there. Okay, um, I bet hmm, that was weird. Okay, and I bet if I just come over here and go, you're now connected to these two, you'll put in some work. Okay, okay, so little Mr. Guy, um, let's put some stuff in. What do you think, buddy? What do you think? Should we do that? Or would you like a friend? Let's give you a friend. Let's get two of you guys working. Excuse me. Thank you. Boom. Okay. And you, good sir. You are also connected here and here. Okay, so that should mean this little guy knows that he needs to interact with this, and he needs to interact with this, and depending on what his core is, will kind of determine what his behavior is. So since we have the core of the gatherum, he should gather. Um, um, I wonder what sticks have. Let's do, you know what? Let's do this. Um, <laughs> Turns out ghostwood trapdoors, they don't give you modus. So, boop. Okay, little guys. Start working. What are you... What are you doing? Why aren't you doing stuff? Huh? Uh... Puh. There you go. Go. What are you doing? Little Mr. Man. Maybe if I tell you that? And that? Uh-oh. Um. Am I grossly wrong? Here. Take one of those. What do you do with it? Anything? You did nothing. What did you do? Did you put it in there? You put it in there. Uh-oh. Um, okay, we have a little bit of a problem. Guard, maybe harvest? Crap. Um, uh-oh. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Uh-oh. Items, uh-oh. Okay, we probably actually needed to have empty and fill. Uh oh. Um can I can I do anything with you? Will you stay in there? Oh no. Oh no. Um okay, well you guys are broken. I love you to death, but you're broken. Um <laughs> okay, unfortunately that is all the time I have today, um, at least for this episode. I'm, maybe I'll get to come back on my lunch break and sort this little mess out. Um, shoot. Well, I, you know what? Successful day. Successful day. Because check it out. We got this bad thing going. Um, 
we're going to fill it like with some candles and stuff and make it all purified um, and safer than than it is right now because uh, call me ambitious. First thing I want to make, Silverwood Staff. Because, oh, you're going to be expensive because I don't even know how to make that. How do I make that? Any ideas? Anybody? How do I make you? Uh, ethereal, okay. So, yeah. Um, but, yeah, successful day. Boom. We got that set up. We got this thing set up. We're going to set up the, uh, what's it called? What's it called? This this stuff. Automated alchemy. Crucible uh, and the alchemical construct. Because this will do what we were doing outside. Uh, but what you do is you take these jars and you put the jars next to it and then the jars will just drain whatever is needed um, so we will be completely safe and not have leftover and I really hope these stay I really do really really hope that they just stay in there and don't create taint in here um, so cross your fingers for me guys um, and oh newbies on just in time to say bye uh, anyway guys thank you very very much for watching uh, as always, like, comment, subscribe, all that wonderful stuff, and uh, I'll see you guys. Oh, that's a good screenshot. Boop. See you guys in the next episode.